Trigger warning, this game deals with some very sensitive issues like death, suicide, losing loved ones, etc. So if that is a sensitive topic for you, please do not watch this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Hi guys, Rashi here. Welcome back to Midnight Ramen where we're on Thursday the 24th. It has definitely been a while since I've played this game. So forgive me if I'm a little rusty, although I should remember how to make ramen. Uh, I'm trying to remember the story currently. I had to take a week off from recording because my entire household got ravaged by the flu. And it was not good, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but we're all better now, so time to jump back in the saddle, I guess, as the old saying goes. And try and get back into the mood of this game. Which if I remember, and the sad music is helping to jog my memory, is not very great right now. All right, still owner. Hi, Blaze. That's his name, right? Oh my God, I hope I'm right. I've already told you, I'm fine. No, go and rest. The soul isn't like the body. As long as it's stable, it's fine, really. Right, a stable soul that goes out carelessly and almost becomes food for chaos. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, Hamura knows more now. Things that you neglected to tell her. That... I had my reasons. Right. And what were your reasons? What did you have to do that was so important that you almost became a chaos's dinner? Please enlighten the class. Is it so hard to tell me? Well... <sighs> do you know how I died? Asta said that you used to be a hunter. And that, uh, you died in the line of duty. That's right. I was part of Prometheus when I was alive as well. I died in a severe chaos attack. My soul energy was almost burnt up in the battle, but at the time, I wasn't ready to pass through the doorway of light. So, after I passed away, I traveled around with Asta to clear my mind. What does that have to do with you leaving? The next part. I hope you won't get angry after you hear it, okay? I can't promise, but I'll try. Well, back then my thoughts had become very negative. I thought, I thought that letting myself dissipate would be the best thing. But then I met you in the orphanage. I really wanted to take you away from that place. So I asked Mitras to do something for me. Oh, does this have to do with the fact that um, Amora's energy is connected to his? Aunt Mitras? She's, she's a member of Prometheus too. Yes, I've known her for a very long time. I asked her to create a contract for me, to allow me to become your mentor as a spirit. And to continue existing through your soul fire. My soul fire? I mean, it doesn't have a big impact on you. It only consumes a little at a time. Just enough to keep me existing. That's all, I promise. Jesus! You, you think I'd be angry to learn about this? I know you think of me as family. I feel the same. I don't think you're using me. Don't worry about that. Oh, Hamora. Okay, but there is one more thing. It's about the contract. It only lasts until... until you're an adult. What does that mean? You... you're not saying... That's right. After the contract ends, I won't be able to live off your soul fire anymore. Most likely I'll dissipate due to a lack of energy. So, Mitras and the others suggested that I pass through the doorway of light before you come of age. Oh. Hamura. Did Hamura just run away? Oh, Zoe. Uh, hi. Do, do you need help? I saw Hamura crying. She ran away when she saw me. It's alright. I think she needs to be on her own for a while. How about you, boss? Are you okay? The other day I saw you, uh, you had a big wound on your stomach. Huh. <laughs> Sorry to have scared you. But thanks for your concern, I'm fine now. Unlike the body, the soul recovers very quickly. I'm fully healed now. Want something to eat? We don't have soft-boiled eggs tonight, but everything else is still available. Uh, oh, alright. Then, please give me one tamagoyaki and a green tea, thank you. 
Sure, please wait a moment. A serving of tamagoyaki and a green tea. Can do. This is sad. <laughs> I am the big sad. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. I wonder what would happen if I served them the wrong thing. I haven't tried that yet. What's up, Zoe? What's on your mind? I... well, I... I saw my mom. Did she come back home? No, it's... I saw a stranger come into our house. He took some of my mom's clothes and left, so I followed him. My mom... she's sick. <laughs> She's in a psychiatric hospital. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm I'm the one who should apologize, but I don't even know who to apologize to. Boss, do you have a family? Ha, <laughs> yes, I do. Why do you ask? Um I'm just confused. What exactly is a home? <laughs> hmm. Well, what do you think family is? Family? Your family is someone who's happy because you're happy and sad because you're sad. Someone who can accept you unconditionally, embrace you. I think I'm a terrible person. Why do you say that? Because I haven't managed to... I didn't unconditionally accept. And that I actually have this thought I thought that my mum ending up in a psychiatric hospital was her own fault. Why do I think this way? Am, am I sick too? Hmm. I still can't answer these kinds of questions for you. All the norms and moral standards you're talking about are there to bind the living. As for spirits, the only thing we can do is to clarify our own thoughts. I understand. But even if that process takes a long time, you're always welcome here. Thank you. Oh, somebody else is here. Oh, Tamara! Yeah, have some hot water. You ran out without a jacket. Don't want you to catch a cold. Thanks. Aw. Tamara, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Tamara, I... Eh? Uh, hi there. Welcome. I- I'm Rose, Ethan's mother. I'm sorry about yesterday. Ethan must have caused you so much trouble. Ethan? No, no trouble at all. He's a very nice kid. Amora, do you know her? Let me explain. <laughs> yeah, now Amora has to come clean. God oh, damn, this game's getting me emotional. <sighs> So, you performed a seance for him? <laughs> Didn't I tell you how dangerous the ritual is? And you still did it. You... Don't talk to me about danger. I wasn't the one who nearly got myself killed outside, was I? Yeah, you're really kind of... Pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> we can't help the living, you know that. So, we're only supposed to help spirits? Don't the living deserve our help as well? Isn't that why people need our guidance when they die? Because they feel so lost when they're alive? Sorry. This is a little bit of an outburst. I'm sorry. Don't argue, please. My apologies, we were out of line. Please don't say that. This all started because of me. Let's forget about it for now, since you're here at a ramen stand. What would you like to eat? Ah, uh, oh, okay, let me see. <laughs> yes, ramen, ramen will fix it. I'll have a bowl of nostalgia ramen, please. Do you want to adjust the firmness of the noodles or the portion size? Whatever's convenient for you will be fine, thanks. Everybody is so accommodating. Oh, uh, how do I make nostalgia ramen? Soy sauce, bamboo shoots, seaweed, and sliced scallions. Soy sauce, bamboo shoots. 
uh, uh, and sliced scallions. We got some soft noodles. Oh no. Do we need any seasoning? No. Okay. Here you go. Here's your nostalgia ramen. Please enjoy. Thank you. God, every time I just want ramen. I haven't tasted something this delicious since I got sick. This broth is really something special. Huh, of course. We're serious about our cooking. Hmm. Apart from the rich soup base, you've got shrimp shells, bonito flakes. It really enhances the flavor. Ethan really likes bonito flakes. Every time I made takoyaki, he always wanted me to add more. I, I like bonito flakes too. Oh, young lady, you're also... Yeah, I, I passed away as well. How? How are your parents doing? Considering you're still so young. Sorry, should I not have asked that? My mother, she's in a really bad shape. She, she can't accept the fact that I've passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope she can get through it soon. About earlier, what did Ethan, about earlier, what Ethan did, I really am sorry. It's my fault for spoiling him too much. He can be very stubborn about things. No worries at all, Ethan is a good kid. Your son, he did this just because he misses you a lot. I know. I'd love to hug him just one more time. But I hope he can learn to let go. Why? I've passed away. I want him to be able to accept that. But he's only nine years old. And he can see spirits. Why don't you just tell him what you think? Actually, I only realized he could see spirits these past few days as well. When I was alive, he never mentioned anything about it. It's good that Ethan hasn't seen me. But he can come and go here as he likes, and he can talk normally with Zoe. I think it would be fine if you want to meet him. But I... Hamura, this... Don't do it, please. Don't abandon your child. I, okay, fun fact about me, when I get sad or upset, I use humor as a coping mechanism, so if I see him sometimes just unaffected or unabashedly just completely ignoring the sadness going on, because that's my way of working through it. I nearly so badly wanted to make a joke there, but... Whew. I don't know if you've seen the SNL sketch where it's like, I've abandoned my child! <laughs> That's the first thing that popped into my head. But yeah, that's just how I cope with things. So I'm sorry if you find that disrespectful. It's not me being disrespectful. It's just that's how I've had to work my way through life. And it's just second nature now to me. Um, I am actually finding this really difficult and sad to read and play through. But I'm going to push through it. Hamura. I... I was raised in an orphanage. No one wanted to take me home. My parents died in a car accident when I was still very young. I don't even remember what they looked like. And because I can see spirits, I always wondered, when would they come back to see me? What did I do that was so wrong that they didn't, they weren't willing to? Hamura, are you okay? Sorry. I just, I really understand how Ethan feels. I don't, I don't want anyone else to be abandoned again. <sighs> All right, let's stop talking about this. I don't want to spoil your appetites. By the way, Zoe, how have you been these past few days? Eh, me? I've been okay. I was just talking to the boss about, um, it's nothing important, but I... I want to order another bowl of ramen. Sure, what would you like? Please, could I have a chashu delight? A regular portion would be fine with soft noodles, please. And could you pan fry the chashu before you put it in the bowl? It's more flavorful that way, right? Then add an order of pot stickers and for a drink, I'd like a soda. Yes, Zoe. And th that's all, thank you. You are really Zoe, aren't you? Huh? 
what is it? Don't worry, she's just saying it's not like what you usually order. <laughs> it's just, after seeing Himura be so direct about her feelings, I think I realised that sometimes it's important to follow your own mind. I thought my outburst scared you. Anyway, I'll bring that to you in a moment. Thank you. It's rare to see Zoe trying so hard to express herself. I need to be on good form this time. I can't let her down. Yeah, so that means don't mess it up. Well, let's start with getting her her soda. And she wanted pot stickers. And she wants a Chashi Delight. So we need Tonkotsu, which is this. We need... She wants Chashi, but it has to be pan fried. And it's times three. Oh, and of course, we need noodles. And she wants them to be soft. And pepper. I'll put that in last, just because... I know it doesn't actually mechanically matter in the game, but for my own sanity, I will put that in last. <laughs> and soft noodles, soft noodle, warm noodle. Is that everything I need? Yes, okay. That's a big order. Damn, Zoe. And she had a tamagoyaki as well. Here you go, your ramen and your other dishes. Please enjoy. Thank you. <sighs> Looks so delicious. The chashu is really good. I'm glad you like it. Well, thank you guys. Actually, I'm glad we talked. I feel more certain about my decision regarding Ethan now. Ever since he was little, he's always been dependent on me. He's always asking me for my opinion. But I'm dead now. If this situation continues, it wouldn't be fair to him. He has his own life to live. I know that this will be extremely painful for him. Maybe this is a sign from heaven. Maybe it's time to let go. But thank you, Hamura, for what you said. I'll think about it. For now, I think I'll take my leave. Good night. Thank you for coming. I'll head back to you now. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bye, Zoe. Bye, Rose. <laughs> oh, and leaving these two together. I hope... Yeah. Hamara, I know you're still angry, but we need to talk about Ethan. I'm... I'm sorry. Huh? I shouldn't have tried to do the seance so recklessly. I didn't realize it was dangerous, if Asta hadn't been here. Well, trying new things isn't bad, but safety must come first, especially with unfamiliar things that might come with unexpected risks. <sighs> it's really not your fault. Considering Ethan's situation, I understand why you wouldn't want to just stand by. But at the end of the day, we're guides. There are some rules that we have to obey. Yeah, I know. However, if Rose and Ethan happen to meet, in theory, at least, there might not be a problem with the rules. Huh? Ethan can see spirits. His mother is a deceased spirit. Who's to say they couldn't just run into each other? It wouldn't have anything to do with us. We wouldn't need to conduct a ritual to make it happen, right? The only thing is, I think that whatever happens, it should be Rose's decision. We shouldn't take that away from her. What do you say? Yeah, I agree. All right, let's wrap up then. It's time to get off work. Okay. I think there's some unresolved talking you two need to do. All right, November 25th, Friday. Midnight. When the best ramen store on the planet opens. The 11th night. I actually don't know how many nights are in this game. This music is so calming. Gets me in a good mood every time. And I'm happy to hear it instead of the sad music. <laughs> there don't seem to be any problems on my end. Amora, how about you? I'm good. All the materials are ready. Ah, the daily routine. I've missed this. Well then, let's open up. Who's our first customer? Hello? Oh, it's Zoro. Yo, good evening. He's gonna eat the chair. Oh, the store owner's better already. Great, that means I can have ramen again. Oh, yeah, he hates my ramen. I mean, technically, I'm still a dead man. Better is a relative term. <laughs> You're Zoro, right? Thanks for your help that night. Is Asta not with you? No, it's her turn to be on duty today. I'll go and support her later on. For now, I'll have a large portion of Hellfire ramen with firm noodles, an extra soft-boiled egg, and a soda, please. Got it. My first time cooking after my recovery. <laughs> I'm just like, this bitch. Uh, actually, I feel a bit tired. Maybe I need more rest. Amora, can you take over? 
Huh? Why? Yeah, cookies are right. Dear customer, do you have a problem with my cooking? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, thank you. Dora's a little bitch. <laughs> oh shit, no! No, 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 no. I need a large portion. Large. Large. He wanted an extra boiled egg. Wait. I just made... I'm not on my game today at all. Did he want them firm? Yeah. Okay. Hellfire ramen. Miso. I don't even... Alright. Tashi. Bamboo shoots. And was that seaweed? And then chili powder. And he wanted an extra soft boiled egg and a soda. There we go. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> Here's your meal. Please enjoy. Thanks. Let me have a taste. Hmm. That's surprisingly good. Surprisingly? No, I, uh, I just meant it's really good. If you want anything else, just let me know. Are you guys having a fight or something? Huh? Uh, never mind. Gotta eat this while it's hot. <laughs> right, right. It's no good eating it cold. Damn, Zoro really knows how to put his foot in it. Oh my god, Grant. Good evening. Welcome. Alone today? Yeah, alone. Is Adora feeling better? Probably, I guess. She's She started going out on dates. Oh, buddy. Sorry, I feel it's a bit complicated. I'll have a drink, any kind of alcohol. Sure, please wait a moment. What is Shoju? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it's rice. Wait, I've had this before. Here you go. Thanks. Do you need to talk? No, I just want to sit by myself for a while. All right, let us know if you need anything. Oh, Rose. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. What would you like to eat tonight? Please give me a cup of tea, thank you. Sure, coming right up. Green tea? Sure. Here's your green tea. Please enjoy. Thank you. Can I call you Homura? Of course. If you want anything else, just let us know. All right, thank you, Homura. Um, so I thought a lot about things after I left last night. I, I still hope Ethan can move on and live his own life, but I don't know if choosing to see him or not is better for him. Hmm? My advice is don't overthink it. Just ask yourself, do you want to see him? It's, it's not that I don't want to see Ethan. It's that I'm afraid to see him. I'm worried that after we meet, he'll want me to stay with him, and I don't think I'd be able to refuse him. It would be bad for his growth. But, on the other hand, I'm afraid he'll forget about me. This is what I'm struggling with. I'm afraid to see him, but in some ways I want him to keep looking for me. Why? Because I suppose as long as he keeps looking for me, I don't have to admit to myself that I'm already dead. I'm being selfish, aren't I? <sighs> Wanting to see him but being afraid to do so, it sounds ridiculous even to myself. We're all human at the end of the day. It's not a crime to be a little selfish. At least you understand your own mindset. That's better than being clueless, right? Maybe. Huh, you think your problems are so bad. Whoa. Grant? Uh, sir, Grant? You know what, I'll have one. <laughs> you know what, I'll have what she's having. One reunion with a loved one, please. It's, or what? Is a fiance not as important as family? It's not what you think, Grant. Rose's son can see spirits. Even without our intervention, they can still choose to meet. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't need it anyway. Adora seems to have moved on just fine. <sighs> I hope... I wanted to forget me and find the strength to move on, but I don't want to be forgotten. But I... I don't have a choice. I just want to see her one more time, to say goodbye properly, instead of being like this, where even a goodbye is a luxury. 
I'm sorry. I don't need your apologies. Jesus, Grant is aggressive today. You just worry about your own problems. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Grant, did he even drink his drink? Way to make Rose feel even worse. <sighs> you guys are done arguing, right? Jesus Christ, Rose, if you order any more food, I'd like another bowl of ramen for fuck's sake. Sorry. I couldn't get a word in earlier. I finished my soup before I could have more noodles. You could have just told me. Nah, grandma always tells me not to speak when other people are arguing. So, what flavor do you want? Hmm, I'll have a classic salt ramen. And make it a large bowl, please. Okay, coming right up. This... Man, I cannot stop eating. Alright. Salt broth. Um, soft boiled egg. Oh wait, he wants large. And we want some char siu, soft boiled egg, and naruto. Does it have seasoning? No. I'll give him medium noodles because I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> One large classic salt ramen. Enjoy. That's great, thanks. I was super hungry from all the waiting. <laughs> from what way? But you know, you guys are so troublesome. If you don't want to see each other, then don't. Hey. It's it's because there's a lot to consider. Well, you're already dead, right? Just pretend your son can just pretend your son can't see spirits. That's how things would normally be, right? If you can see spirits means you should meet them. Then what's the meaning of death? Human life isn't eternal. That's why we need to cherish our time spent alive. <laughs> yeah, my face is humorous. <laughs> Ugh, ow. Amora, stop kicking my knee. It hurts. Has anyone ever told you that what you say makes sense, but it still makes people want to kick you? You sound just like grandma. Have you ever considered becoming a guide instead of a hunter? If this is what I get when I comfort someone, then no thanks. That's a shame. I expect the spirits you counsel would want to move on as quickly as possible. <laughs> You'd make a very efficient guide. Uh-huh. I'm full now. Thanks for the meal. You ate that so fast. Won't you get a stomach ache? Honestly, I'm only half full. Anyway, I'm off to work. Bye. Jesus Christ. What does he have? Hollow legs? I can't stand that guy. Sorry, Miss Rose. Zoro always speaks without thinking. Please don't take any of it to heart. I... I'm a bit confused right now. Everything people are saying makes sense to me, but as for what's really best for Ethan... How about some ramen? There's nothing a bowl of ramen can't solve. And if there is, then try having some more. <laughs> Blaze, you need to work on your sense of humour. Thanks for all your concern. I feel a bit better now. Are you still undecided? Not sure if you should meet him? Mm-hmm. Actually, do you have any sake? Sake. Sure, do you need anything else? Just sake is fine. Thank you. I like how I said it weird the first time. Okay, coming right up. Sake. Oh, here you go. Your sake. I didn't even get to... What? Thank you. It's been a while since I had some. The doctor kept telling me I shouldn't drink. I'm actually not very fond of alcohol. Huh? Then why? It's because of my mother. She used to love brewing things herself. We had a little storage space in the backyard. It always smelled of fermenting grain. Suddenly, I really miss her. Mum, what would you do if you were me? What kind of person was she? She was a bit clumsy, but very kind, and sometimes she said wise things. <laughs> it feels a bit disrespectful to talk about my mother like that. But no matter what, every parent is a superhero to their children, right? When we're lost, we always look to them for guidance. That's true. Well... In most cases, you would hope so, yes. Hamura, you're meeting Ethan here tomorrow, right? I think... Could you tell him that I've already gone? Let him... Let him stop searching for me and accept that I've passed away. <sighs> Sorry, I won't. You're an adult. Adults should express themselves clearly. If you don't explain properly, he won't understand what you're thinking. Maybe it's true that I see myself in Ethan, but I know that your choices won't change what happened to me. 
I won't influence your decision or Ethan's and I won't be a messenger between you two. Please make a decision for yourself and then act on it yourself. I, I understand. Just let me think about it some more. Thank you for your hospitality. I'll be going now. Thank you for coming. Take care. Thank you for coming. You didn't drink your sake. <laughs> no one drinks their drinks. <laughs> it seems like there must be a reason why these rules exist. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't interfere with the living for the sake of the dead. Because guides don't have the right to change their views or their futures. Over the past two years, I've watched so many customers come and go with you. But I never thought I'd personally send you off one day. Right. I'm still breathing and I still have a choice. If I didn't speak to you out of spite for these last three days, I'd probably regret it for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. If you hadn't almost died, what would you have done? Were you planning to keep it a secret until the last moment? <laughs> really, is there no other way to keep you here? Knowing you, you've probably tried everything already, right? That's why I went to see Mitris that day, to ask her about it. I can't remember how many times I've asked her the same question. She's been looking for potential solutions all this time. But at least among the existing spells, there's no way to completely replenish a person's soul energy. Legal or illegal, I'm sorry. I see. Let's, let's start cleaning then. Right, I'll take care of the dishes. So Blazer's gotta go through the doorway of light. And it's gonna be very sad. But we'll have to see that next time because I'm gonna leave it here tonight. I'm emotionally drained. This game is draining my my emotional capabilities for today and I need to take a break. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm glad to be back recording videos after my flu and hopefully there'll be a lot more coming up soon on the channel and I hope you'll be here to join me. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you get to play many, many games and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys!